I have a new symptom, unless it's like earth shattering, life threatening, or it keeps occurring, then I'm probably not even gonna bring it up to my doctor. If you have a chronic invisible illness, buckle up because you're gonna go on a wild goose chase. Let's talk about myasthenia gravis. That's pretty much the working diagnosis that we have right now with ophthalmologist, neurologist, and primary care uh, physician. A primary care physician can't possibly know every single thing that's going on, particularly when it comes to like rare diseases. Myasthenia gravis, it affects maybe 20 and 100,000 people. As such, there's not a lot of information on the internet. It's maybe helpful for those that are having similar experience to know you're not alone. I think it's important for patients to be well informed. The experience of myasthenia gravis is unique to the individual. It can affect a variety of different muscles. People can have different combinations of muscles affected and different degrees of how it's affected and it, it can fluctuate. One of the challenges that I have is fatigue. I really noticed it post-exertion. Back when I was uh, able to work, <laughs> my ability to go from like, oh yeah, I'll do 50, 60 hour weekends and go, 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 to like no social life on weekends, to coming home and collapsing and not even being able to fix dinner, to like not even really being able to keep up with housekeeping or anything like that. At first I thought it was aging, but one of my really close friends is several years older than me. Gosh, she's always like, go, 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 go. This can't be aging. Two or three times during the course of a year, I would notice that I had some weird upper lid creasing only in my left eye. Since then, it went from that to March or April is when I uh, first started having you know, clear symptoms that something was wrong. My left lid kind of like drooped, closed. I don't know what happened. Felt like my eye froze. Um, I lost vision momentarily. That happened a couple more times that day. Yeah, that was a bit unnerving. A couple of months ago, while I was filming video, captured, um, captured the event that happened again. At that time, I also, um, on a previous take, I had trouble speaking, especially with multi-syllable words. The endings of my words sounded really soft, like I wasn't uh, fully pronunciating or enunciating, which kind of trailed off a little bit, which it could be what's called dysarthria. I kind of upset that I deleted that take. You know, gotta have that witness, right? That corroborating witness. No boyfriend or husband to say, yeah, but doc, I saw this. Oh, well maybe I should listen to you instead of my patient over here. Yeah, it's like that. And that's why I document. But in the next take, I also captured where my eye did what it had done before. Again, it had occluded the pupil and the lid crease height was very um, different looking in the mirror. Wow, I thought I was having a stroke, but the MRI is clear. Ocular myasthenia gravis, the upper lash line is usually not this low. Usually you can see more of my iris. Also this funny upper lid crease height thing. Predominantly it was in my left eye. The ptosis improves with rest. Um, it improves with ice and sometimes spontaneously midday. You'll just, I don't know. I was very dismayed to wake up this morning and find that ketosis had already was already in play. And there have been times where I've woken up in the morning and the ptosis will start within an hour of waking up, but it's not been the instance where I've gotten out of bed, gone in the bathroom, taken my morning photo to see that the ptosis has already started. And so this is a little bit of a, um, a discouragement and why I also wanted to um, document this because there's not a lot of information out there. So maybe this will be helpful for somebody. Uh, so that's kind of been my progression as far as ocular symptoms. I had an episode of dysphagia. I went to the um, urgent care clinic. They sent me to the emergency department for imaging. I ended up getting an endoscopy um, and they really couldn't 
find anything wrong. I've had a, a couple of really minor incidences um, with swallowing and kind of coughing as I'm swallowing or um, feeling food get stuck with some of the other symptoms that I have. Like this is not my normal voice, although it is becoming my new normal. We could be dealing with more than ocular myasthenia gravis. Thank you.